here for Bieber, they're here for you. Yeah. <laughs> Close to them. <laughs> Liam Neeson. Hey, what a strikingly charismatic man uh, Mr Neeson is. Did you feel it when he came out? Was it just me or did you feel the, the sexual longing of when... Uh... <laughs> huh? Sorry, you were saying something. Liam, so, hey, what a remarkable sort of change in your career to start doing action movies. I know, it's... Uh... No, they're great, they're great fun, but, I, you know, yeah. it's kind of unexpected. Did you, was it a plan or did it just happen? Oh, totally. No, 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 no. I did this film, Tekken. Five years. <laughs> <laughs> and I had just turned 55 years of age when we wrapped the film. And unbeknownst to us all, it became, it became very successful. And uh, so Hollywood started sending me action <laughs> scripts. But yeah. what, a great, what a great thing. We should just point out the, the story of Taken, because Taken 2 is just about to come out. You're a kind of security guy, uh, yes. and your daughter is, as the title would have you uh, expect, Taken. Yeah. <laughs> and then they picked the wrong guy to mess with because... Yeah, I'm an ex-CIA operative, mm. you know. And in the new film, Taken 2, <laughs> you're... She's Taken again. And, and <laughs> his wife is Taken 2. <laughs> well, first of all, I'm saying, why don't actually, you consider... Actually, I give her away. You, oh, you sort of swap her, don't you? Because she's sort of pain in the butt. So. <laughs> but do you find that people are... Do they speak to you about travel? Do they say, look, I'm worried about sending my kids away? Because when I saw it, I thought, that's it. Well, they're, they're not going to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really hate it because it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a father of two boys myself. I love them to travel. How old are they? 16 and 17. But I've had a lot of parents coming up to me saying, yeah, thanks for doing that movie. Yeah, I'm never sending my daughter or my son to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, please don't do that. Yeah. You know. Um, what do you do to unwind? How do you, uh, if you want to get away from it, or what, what, what do you do to sort of like really have a break? Uh, I'm an avid reader. I'm a kind of a hiker. I love to walk. And I fly fish. I like to fly fish. So you've got the waders and... Oh, I've got all that stuff. Right, you've got oh, the yeah. technology? Yeah. And when you catch the fish, do you throw them back or do you eat them? Oh, no, I put them back. Yeah, it's catch and release. Yeah. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? No. But... <laughs> yeah. So about, about three inches. <laughs> a five-point trout. Wow, that's pretty good. You didn't eat the trout? No, I, 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 I like practising catch and release. That's right. running, yeah. I've caught an 18-pound salmon, I tell a lie. That was the biggest fish wow. I caught, yeah. Did, and you didn't eat it? I put it back, yeah. It just seems a waste of energy, yeah. to be honest with you. No, it's, <laughs> it's a great sport, John. You'd like it. I think you'd be, you'd be good, John. I would like to come fly fishing with you. Yeah, we'll do it sometime. Shall we bring Justin Belieber? <laughs> Just no, come and fly fishing. Why not? What do you think we're going to do to you? It's not deliverance. We're just going to go fishing. <laughs> Don't do the puppy face. <laughs> what? Okay, when Let you are... Let me see if it, how it works on you. You do the puppy face. Okay, my... okay, uh, okay, here we go. You ready? <laughs> okay. See, that's a puppy face. That's a puppy face. Look and learn, Bieber. <laughs> and so your first big break, I guess, uh, took you away from Ireland. Yeah, I did a, I did a, a movie for John Borman called Excalibur. And uh, from there I moved to uh, London. Was there a culture shock when you came to London? It was and it wasn't. I, it was... Um, I mean, Belfast was the nearest city to me, and it was, it's a small city, you know. But London was a little bit terrifying. My girlfriend at the time, who was an up-and-coming actress by the name of Helen Mirren. <laughs> we, uh, uh, Hang on, let's just enjoy that for a moment. <laughs> just let that settle, you know? Congratulations. No, great, great woman. And so, uh, was it with Helen Mirren? Because I, I know we'll, we'll talk about something, you were a boxer, but you met Muhammad Ali, is that right? Oh, my gosh. I met Muhammad Ali in 1980 wow. at the Dorchester Hotel. He had made this film, terrible film, by the way, <laughs> called Freedom Road with Chris Christopherson. And Helen knew the producer of this film. The producer invited Helen and subsequently myself, would you like to come and have a private audience with Muhammad Ali? And, uh, and you, so, were, you were a fan, I guess, were you? I, excuse me? Yeah. A fan? Yeah. He was my idol, Jonathan. He was my idol. I was a boxer as a kid, so he, he, he was my idol. The know? greatest of all time, perhaps. Yeah. So we went down and we were ushered up to this beautiful suite. 
And there were various British celebrities there. Freddie Starr. Do you remember Freddie Starr? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is taking the shine off the story a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think Bruce Forsyth was there. Yeah, let's quit while we're ahead. So, <laughs> you're, you're in there with Muhammad Ali and Helen Mirren. They're the A-listers, yeah. OK? So, uh, uh, Mike Parkinson was there. No, let's just go... Let, uh, once again... <laughs> I just... I feel I need to give them a I like plug, the colour. I love the colour. The Chuckle Brothers, were they in the...? <laughs> <laughs> the anyway, crankies? Muhammad eventually came in. And he came round everybody and was shaking their hand. And he was making his way towards me and I thought, he's going to get to me and I have to say something to him, you know? And literally, my knees started shaking like that. And he got to me, and I, I held his hand and went, Muhammad, I love you. <laughs> Pacific, you know? <laughs> well, but genuine, from the heart. Oh, I remember. Yeah. And then he started flirting with Helen. Uh-oh. And then I thought, oh, Muhammad Ali's flirting with my girlfriend. How cool. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when Freddie Starr tells his story, he says Helen started flirting with him, you know? <laughs> uh, that's great. And so you boxed as a kid. Were you any good as a boxer? I was uh, Ulster, Northern Ireland champion for wow, a couple I of times. Wow. Irish runner-up a couple of times. I was okay, John. I was competent. Yeah. I wasn't great. I wasn't... So you I had a good left jab. Presumably you could have had a career. Why did, why did you stop? No. It hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still boxing now? Do you keep in I shape? Train, I train, Jonathan. I don't, I don't box anymore, yeah. but I train. You tra yeah. train using boxing or other sort of training? I'm using boxing. I have a big heavy bag. I have a, I have a lovely little gym that I've made for nice. myself. Nice. Well, that must help when you're making the movies, the action movies. That's why you can do it at your age, I guess, because you are in good shape still. I'm in, I, I keep in good shape. And, uh, yeah, and these Tekken movies, I, I don't do my own stunts. Yeah. I have a great, great body who does all that. But I do my own fights. Yeah.